Right, another Worcester best. This time, all the six Resident Evil films that Paul Anderson was at least involved in anyway. I know there's some animated ones, but I'll probably colour them in another video. Um, what can I say about these films? Um, they're all quite similar, to be honest. There's not one that really stands out as being by far the worst, and one that stands out as being as like by far the best. They're all quite equal. Um, some are worse than others, obviously. That's why I'm going to do this ranking. So my number six is Retribution. Um, it's all right. Could have been better. Could have been worse. That's what me and my mate said when we saw the cinema. Uh, the flaws that this film has is just the main storyline and plot, I mean They bring all like, well some of the actors from the first film back in this one and they clone them all Which is just a bit naff to be honest, I mean who thought of that? Um, I feel like the film was wasted as well on some of the characters that were introduced like Leon in Kennedy was introduced from the games uh, Barry Burton, Ada Wong and the film was just wasted on them. I mean, they killed off Barry Burton. And um, the acting was pretty poor in this film as well, but can you blame that on the actors or is it just the film itself? I don't really know. Um, a lot of the fighting scenes in this film as well, they slow it down and it's like every single time you're watching fighting, it's in slow motion. And it's, after a while, it just gets annoying. And um, there's this scene at the end as well where we're all fighting and it's all in slow motion and there's this music playing in the background which just doesn't suit the scene whatsoever it's like some orchestral music playing in the background I mean we should play some like techno music or rock music but no we'll put some orchestral music in the background while we're all fighting it doesn't make sense I mean it's it's all right this film I mean it's just my least favourite out of the bunch to be honest I mean there's better ones than this one so that's my number six, Retribution. Uh, number five, final chapter. If you'd asked me to do this list when this film came out, this would have definitely been my number one, just because I felt the story was really good in this film. I thought it ended really well. I thought the way the last film, Retribution, ended, I thought, hey, they're going to like make a film after that it's just getting bonkers <laughs> but they managed it with this one I think it's quite a safe film uh, one of the disappointing things in this film um, I remember reading they were going to introduce Leon Kennedy Chris Redfield back in this film but it never happened and the film just really focuses mainly on Alice and it's like I'm a big fan of the games so it was a bit disappointing to be honest um, Albert Westgreen this film as well is a bit lacklustre, I mean The series was building up to this finale of like Wesker and in this film It basically does nothing It just like pushes a few buttons says a few things and that's about it The main villain in this film is Dr. Isaacs again. There's a cloning in this film Why do they keep on going on with this cloning bollocks? It's starting to like get annoying now with the cloning But yeah, they do it in this film again and spoiler alert at the end of this film, guess what? Alice is a clone. Who would have guessed that? But yeah. It's an alright film though. I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more when I first watched it at the cinema. Uh, watching it again now, it's still probably one of my least favourites, but it's a pretty good movie. Just ranks at my number five. Um, my number four. This one might surprise quite a lot of people, but uh, Extinction, the third film in the franchise. I think this film gets the most praise from what I've seen from critics and fans. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a good film. I think the reason why it's not one of my favourites is because it's got that Mad Max vibe. It's like all set in the desert. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an okay film. It introduces Claire Redfield, so at least you get a character from the games that you can relate to. Um, Dr. Isaacs, I think, is the main villain in this one. Um, kind of copies Dr. William Birkin from Resident Evil 2, I really like. He's a scientist, and then he injects himself when um, Umbrella 
sort of go against him and he turns into this tyrant so it's kind of copying Resident Evil 2 I suppose um, the zombies in this film are kind of better than all the others I think so if you're into like zombie films this might be one for you it's an okay film just a middle of the road one for me I mean I felt like there were better ones but yeah this is my number four on the list Extinction My number three, Afterlife. This one gets a lot of hate. Um, I don't know why, but it just does. I watched this at the cinema in 3D, and from what I read, Paul Anderson was able to use James Cameron's Avatar 3D studio to film the 3D scene, scenes in this film, and they were really good. I mean, I watched this in 3D at the cinema, it was awesome. Loved it from start to finish. Watching it now on DVD, I think it still holds up well. Got a really strong beginning, you know. Again with the clones, there's loads of clones of Alice. But you know, it's exciting. I think it peters off a bit in the middle, then it's got a good strong ending again. There's a final showdown up, um, between Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield, and um, Albert Wesker, which I enjoyed. Kind of copying Resident Evil 5 in some parts, I mean. I think I don't think I played Resident Evil 5 before I watched this film. But I remember playing Resident Evil 5 and then watched the film and thinking, yeah, yeah, it's copies parts of Resident Evil 5. Um, one that I really enjoyed. So I don't know why it gets a lot of hate. I mean, this usually comes at the bottom of the list for a lot of people, but it sits at number three for me. I enjoy it, I still do. Um, I quite like Alice in this one as well, because I think with the last one, Extinction, eh. This one's just pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, number three. Number two. Resident Evil, the very first one. Now, if I had done this list a few years back, this would have probably been near the bottom, to be honest. Because um, when I first watched this film, I thought it was really disappointing. I think the reason behind that was being such a huge fan of the games. And being so excited about a film was going to be released on, well, what I thought at the time, the first game, Resident Evil. And then this came out and I was just like, what? Like, what's going on here? Where's Chris Redfield? Where's Albert Wesker? What's going on here? And I didn't like it, to be honest. I was just like, and I can't understand why he did that, because Paul Anderson is known for doing Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat, at least it, it had the characters, it kind of followed the game. This didn't, and it's just like, I just find it disappointing to be honest. But watching it now with an open mind, years later, I do enjoy it, I think it's a decent film. I think if you're not a fan of the games, or you don't play the games, this is probably going to be the best one that you're probably going to like the most. But, it's number two for me. Um, like I said, I mean, I enjoy it a lot more now, I kind of just accept the film for what it is. It's a decent zombie flick, I suppose. It's just disappointing that it didn't follow the games, especially the first game, which I thought it should have done, because I, I always felt like the first game, or at least the second game as well, it would have made for a, such a great film, but they didn't do it. They took it in another direction. All these years later, yeah, I suppose it's a decent movie now. And I can look past all that. But yeah, man, man number two, Resident Evil. A decent film but my favorite one like I said this list was quite difficult because to be honest they're all kind of equal to me um, my thoughts and views on these films will probably change in a year from now or ten years from now but this is my list as of now and my favorite one is Apocalypse I kind of like this one the most because it follows one of the games most than any of us. I mean, this is kind of like a rip-off of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, really. It technically is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis in a film. Um, introduction of Jill Valentine, Nemesis, Raccoon City. You get the plot. It's Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, but done in a movie. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I watched this at the cinema when it came out. Um, I felt from start to finish, it was just really exciting, really fun to watch far more than the first film I was just glad that they followed the games more with this one um, 
I really liked him. What's his name? The guy in it. Carlos, is it? He's a, the actor who's in the Mummy films. Yeah, he's pretty good in this film. Um, the acting's a bit corny, a bit cheesy. But it's like that with all these films. I mean, you just accept them for what they are. You have fun with them. They're entertaining. Nobody's going to be winning an Oscar in any of these films. You know, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Apocalypse. Real entertaining from start to finish. Um, if you just want to switch your brain off and watch a fun, action packed zombie movie, then go ahead and watch this film. And that's my list. Um, put your thoughts down below. You'll probably agree with me, but you probably won't agree with me, I don't know. Um, kind of contra controversial, some of them. But that's my list. Uh, make your own list if you want. Tell me what your thoughts are. And I'll catch you next time.